Hello all, Zingier Barbecue here, and I am going to make a build video for you guys, and it is a very much similar to a build I already made, but let's call this the updated, um, this is the healing support boon giving guardian, or as I previously called him, the boon mancer. Um, people didn't like him being called the boon mancer, so healing boon giver, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm going to do something I haven't done and go to a, th a different way of showing you how this build is built um, using the skillbuilder.com. So let me just go over there. Here it is. My build is already made in the best possible way, full ascended, fully decked out. So this is the best it can be. And you can see um, from my boon duration, my uh, with a sigil permanently by myself will have a hundred percent boon duration by yourself. You don't need any other teammate or food to give yourself this boon duration. And that is incredible. So the only thing that's not going to be shown here is since it only shows 66%, it's not going to show you what it would be like at 100%. So let me quickly go over to how it will be 100%. And that is with Superior Sigil of Consecrations. So with those on both staves, you will get 66 plus 33 is 100% boon duration. So while, before I go over all this, and you're like, what the heck is all this? Well, that looks stupid. Well, it may be. And this is a build, like I said, for fun. It's not going to get you through raids most likely, but it's for fun. This game's for fun for me, so that's what I'm going to do. So, as I said before, I run Staff Staff, and I run Full Shouts. So let's go over all my abilities, then I'll go over my specializations, and then my gear. So, uh, I take my Staff, so I have Wave of Wrath, which is just a Shockwave cone in front of me that is AoE damage, nice to just spam out. Orb of Light is shoots an orb that will heal and damage any ally or enemy it goes through and then you can detonate it to give a burst of damage or a burst of healing and I like using this on cooldown usually detonating it um, but if people aren't low enough I just send it out uh, and then the cooldowns about like nine seconds it's pretty good uh, superior uh, or sorry the symbol of swiftness is just a I use it as an AoE damage but it gives a swiftness but you already have perma swiftness so Eh, it's okay. Uh, Empower is a great ability. You use this off cooldown, and you will have about 20 seconds of 12 stacks of might on a 16 second cooldown. So you perma have 12 stacks of might for your, you know, for five party members. Um, it also does a burst of healing, and it will rarely get interrupted. Say you're doing this for PvP. Obviously, the numbers won't be as high, and you won't have as much boon duration. But with this build, you will be able to get off every empower, so it won't be interrupted. Line of warding, very rarely useful in PvE, usually to like stop a big wave of mobs so that you guys can burst them down. So, yeah, it's decent, but in PvP, it's a lot better. Uh, receive the light. It is a 24 second, because I specialized in it, and it does a cone of healing. Very nice, because I'm also a healer. Um, it also converts conditions into a boon. One condition into one boon. So all my shouts will do that. So with this build, you heal, give boons, and remove conditions. I say you re remove conditions and give boons better than most classes. Um, stand your ground gives at this moment so, because we're at 66% damage or boon duration, it gives 9 seconds of retaliation and 10 seconds of stability. 5 stacks on a 24 second cooldown. That's almost 50% stability uptime. Who knows when we get 33% more? You know, it's going to be 50%. Uh, breaks stun on me and converts conditions into boons. A condition into a boon. Hold the line. I really like this. Protection, regen, um, just gives your guys a little buffer to heal them up. 
uh, converts condition into boon. Retreat is mainly good for the Aegis, the swiftness. <laughs> you have a little too much, as you can see. 33 seconds of swiftness, and I'm not even maxed out on boon duration. Um, also converts a condition into a boon, and those boons do benefit from your boon duration. Feel My Wrath is the best part of this build. <clears throat> At max boon duration, you will have a 10 second quickness and a 20 second fury on a 36 second cooldown that also converts condition a condition into a boon this is amazing absolutely amazing i will go over my virtues after my specializations okay i go valor honor virtues so let's go over these passive traits first. Aegis is gained when I'm struck below the health threshold. So when I am go below half health, it'll give me an Aegis. Um, I really like it because if your healer goes down, you kind of lose sometimes. So I want to make sure I'm alive. Uh, virtue of Courage is recharged when you revive an ally. This virtue is very useful in our build. So having it recharged when you uh, revive an ally is really nice. Gain might when you block attacks, eh, kind of meaningless, you don't really do damage, but it's it's whatever, you know. Then I take Strength of the Fallen. Lose conditions at a set time interval, and when you're downed, your health goes down slower. So it's nice because you don't need to waste your condition removals on yourself, you focus on if it's on your allies. Um, if there are no conditions, um, I, I don't really know, none of these are useful. So, you know, pick whatever you want if there's no conditions, but Strength of the Fallen I take most often. I take Strength in Numbers. Nearby allies gain toughness based on your level. So, pretty much in Fractals and whatnot, you everyone around you gets 150 toughness, which is nice because your whole build is based around buffing people. This adds a buff. You could also take Communal Defense. Um, you're not running a shield, so you could take communal defense. It's more of a tanking uh, spec or for healer, um, but I take strength in numbers. And then I take, of course, altruistic healing, which gives me healing when I apply boons, <laughs> which makes me near and vulnerable. I almost never die, so this is really nice. Uh, now to honor. Gain Vigor when you deliver a critical hit. Vigor's really nice because you rely on your dodges a lot. So, woohoo, Vigor. The end of your dodge roll heals allies. So, like we said, dodging, good. Virtue of Resolve Passive Effect... Of, the Virtue of Resolve Passive Effect also regenerates Endurance. So you have a Virtue called Virtue of Resolve, and it gives you some Endurance Regen, which lets you dodge more. Protective Reviver. I love this because when you, if someone goes down and people do, you can revive them faster, which gives them three boons that last a long time, and then that also works with the, you know, helps with getting your Virtue of Courage up. So that's really nice. Then I take Honorable Staff. This gives me 20% of my boon duration and reduces the cooldown of my staff skills. So this is really nice, that's why I keep staff. So, um, Pure of Voice, this is also a very good part of our build. Allies affected by shouts have conditions converted into boons. So just that is worth taking, uh, if there's conditions. So if there's no conditions, what do I take? It's still good, because it reduces the cooldown of your shouts. I really love that. Uh, let's go down to Virtues. Virtues now apply boons. So all three of my virtues will a uh, will apply a boon basically based on what it does. So the damagey virtue gives you might and other allies. The healy one gives regen, and the shieldy one gives protection. So it's really good. Um, gain retaliation when you activate a virtue. So this gives me retaliation and makes my retaliation ra retaliation last longer. So my I will have a lot of retaliation. In PvP, this is really good. Um, deal extra damage for each boon you have. This is kind of crap. It's whatever. You don't really do damage, so whatever. I take um, this. <laughs> gives me Aegis retaliation when I get CC'd. Whatever. Absolute resolution. Activating Virtue of Resolve removes conditions and makes my Virtue of Resolve 
passive effect stronger. So my Virtue of Resolve heals passively, but it also has an active. So when I activate it, it will remove conditions. So this is really good, whether you want to keep it passive or activate it. Now, here's the only tier I say you have a choice. For most of these so far, you don't really have a choice. Like, like I said here, you could take this, but this is better, just in every way. However, there are some situations where you don't really need more stability and a stun break. However, in PvP, this is where I'd go every time. So, my Virtue of Courage, which does reset when I revive, it stun breaks and gives stability to everyone around me when I use it, when I activate it. It's amazing. So you can activate it, revive someone, then activate it again. Oh gosh, so broken. However, in PvE, sometimes there's very little CC and you already give stability. In that case, I, <laughs> I would suggest taking uh, Battle Presence. Nearby allies gain the Virtue of Resolve passive effect. Along with your boon giving, this just get, makes you a better healer and boon giver. It gives them the passive effect of this uh, Virtue of Resolve passive effects, also regenerate um, endurance, and helps with the extra passive healing. So this is where I keep it unless we have a big CC issue. Very, very strong. Very good for your healing and supporting. So let's go over these virtues that I've been talking so much about. Uh, every few attacks burns a foe. It's absolute garbage on this build. You want to be activating it every 17 and a half seconds as you see. You and your allies inflict burning on the next attack, so you buff them up. They do more damage, but you also give that might. Remember that. Might is awesome. You regenerate health passively, and you can activate it to give a burst of healing to yourself and nearby allies, which also removes conditions. So, like I said, if you want to keep it passive with the um, battle presence, it's really good. Keep them ticking up, because you also give regen, you're just going to be constantly healing them. If they get low, then you don't feel discouraged. Pop it. It recharges in only 26 seconds. Very strong. Virtue of Courage, the best thing ever. 39 and a quarter second cooldown, uh, AoE Aegis and Protection um, also can stun break uh, and give stability. Very, very, very strong. Uh, don't underestimate that in PvP. As you can see down here, I give all boons except resistance. Only weakness, but guess what? You don't really need it because you cleanse so many CCs. So let's go over the boring, more boring bit. The gear. Um, for my armor, I take Minstrel, so I can get that Consecration to get my boon duration up. I also take one Minstrel Amulet, or I guess a Minstrel Amulet. The rest of my gear is Magi gear, because you do not want that much toughness, because you do not want to, um, you do not want to tank aggro in like raids or whatnot if you happen to do that so you want the least amount of toughness possible but get minstrel armor so that you can pump pump out that boon so for my weapons as i said earlier superior sigil of con concentration and platinum doubloons for that four percent boon duration on each one i also take full platinum doubloons for my armor and I bet no one's done that ever because most people just take um you know an actual like rune page I decided not to do that as to minimize the amount of armor I'd have you can fiddle it around and do whatever you want this is just my for fun build um, I also take rice balls for more healing power and furious tuning crystals for more healing power so that is the build uh, criticize all you want, whatever, it's just for fun. Uh, if you want to try it out or add me on um, Guild Wars, I'd be happy to accept that. Um, I hope you guys enjoy your gaming experiences and have a great day. Bye.